Hi everyone, welcome back to the Trailline channel. This is Richard and Ross, and today we're continuing on with our Chart of the Week series, and today we'll be talking about UPSD Upstart Holdings, which is a leader within the market and is showing us a potential setup going into next week with a pullback on declining volume. Um, and this is one of the names on Ross Haber's top 10 report that he posts twice a week. And if you're interested in the top 10 report, there'll be a link down below in the description and also popping up right now. So uh, Ross, first I, I wanna kind of turn it over to you, talk about the chart, what do you like about uh, the formation, the structure, and uh, what you're looking for next week. You got it, Richard, thank you. So the, the first thing I'm gonna point out here is um, that hits my eye is the, like you said, the overall structure. I noticed price action and character change. First off, you'll notice right after this stock came public, there was a lot of, you can see the, the ranges are wide and loose. There was a lot of jagged pullbacks. And then all of a sudden you can see here, we tighten up considerably. That automatically catches my eye. Volume starts to drop off. And now we've got the moving averages um, starting to converge to the upside and get super tight below price. At, you know, for those familiar with the top 10 report, you know, we look at that as a, a significant spot or launching pad from which a lot of stocks will um, begin it's their hard, run. Yeah. And yeah, and it gives you a great early spot into a stock well before it gets up to, you know, that textbook spot near highs and risk is very manageable down here. So and it it's one of those stocks that gives you that clear um Character change, volume starts to pick up to the upside. We've got an earnings catalyst here. Um, all you had to do was draw a line across its prior all-time high, and you, you know, you hung out around there, which is not unusual for a stock. But you look at constructive action; it holds that pivot. It's short-term, ten-day moving average, and it ru runs up from what do we got here? One ninety-one to you got almost a double um you almost mm -hmm. it barely touches its 10 day moving average up to 350 and this isn't really a tough pull you know so again this is one of those big liquid leaders we're going to take a, you know that trades in an organized manner um respects its moving averages logical areas of support making it much easier to um, manage risk ultimately and still have a powerful mover on the books and now we've got a constructive pullback potentially to a prior pivot level and we're looking for confirmation higher and obviously we've got earnings in a few days on the stock uh, so unless you're able to get a, a, a great profit cushion before that uh, definitely want to want to consider selling before that uh, binary event yeah. but uh with that i think we'll move on to market smith talk a little bit more about the fundamentals because this definitely is a leading stock within a leading group um that that's overall been strong uh, so obviously this is a cloud-based ai lending platform uh, that helps uh, basically replace the FICO score and, and better match um, uh, consumers with, with proper loans. And you can see clearly down here, the standout earnings sales margins, Ross, if you could point that out on a quarterly basis, 999%, margins 30.2%, that's fantastic. And looking at the annual estimates, these are also extremely strong, 871% expected for this year, although the revisions are down and you do see some fall through in 2022. And we'll be watching that to see if it upticks uh, with uh, some potential estimate revisions. Also, of course, you've got the increasing fund ownership. That's always what we like to see. And um, yeah, I think it's also worth taking a look at the weekly chart, Ross, um, and, and taking a look at that because this is a, a nice inside week, not a great close, but it is forming a nice inside week right above that 10 week moving average, the red line there. And as I mentioned, this is in the finance consumer loans department, which is ranked number four out of 197. So um, a leading stock with, within a leading group, great earnings sales margins, and presenting a potential nice pullback entry against that 10 day moving average. Yep. And you've got that textbook price and volume action really up here where you've got the increase um, and above average volume on the other mm -hmm. side, volume falls off here, falls off and declines for a couple of weeks here. So you're getting support right at its 10 week line, a prior pivot that you can't really ask for more than that. Now you just set your stops and follow your rules. Absolutely. Uh, so we're what we're watching for is a big volume move through the, either that early DTL or, or that pivot. And uh, we'll have to see what happens next week when it comes to earnings, but definitely a stock to have on your radar. And any, any last uh, words to add, Ross, about uh, how you would manage this position or what you're looking for next week? Um, you know, with earnings in the way, there's really not much to say. I do my best to get if, if I enter, enter the stock back here where we suggested, and I'm only up a little bit right here. 
as mm-hmm. we get, you know, and this probably started last week. Uh, like Ray, I'm not going to let this turn into a loser. Um, right. The closer we get, obviously, there's less time. Listen, uh, I do my best to to try and hang in there. Maybe you get lucky, like an Airbnb, if you were patient with it, you got a nice pop into earnings. So maybe you could hold a little bit. But at the end of the day, if you did enter here and you're coming up on earnings, I'd say do your best to get out of that trade um, positive. Um, you know, I, yeah. it, it's that, you know, if you happen to get, if you're watching it, if you're w- one that you're able to sit in front of your screen and watch it real time, and then you can decide if it doesn't go through the look, then you can wait. But if you've got other things to do and you're not watching in real time, it's time to be proactive now and probably, uh, get out of the way of earnings, especially if you're up on it. You don't want that to fall to its average. Absolutely. If, if your profit cushion isn't greater than the implied move, it, it's not worth the risk to hold through earnings. So uh, oh. definitely, yeah, go ahead, Russ. Sorry, yeah. So I guess I'm talking about this entry here. If you yeah. own upstart from anywhere back in here, you're whistling you're through good. earnings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well said. All right, I, I think we'll end it there. Uh, definitely a stock to have on your watch list if, you, if it isn't already. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the Trailline channel. And we'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.